All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we got some of the most disgusting things possible to talk about. I mean, it's just insane that this is what we have to talk about today. I mean, when we really get into this, like it probably is going to make you cringe. Like it's just, it, it's so weird. I don't know why YouTubers constantly get caught up doing the most like vile and ridiculous shit possible. But like the amount of YouTubers over the last two years that have just been caught saying and doing some just absolutely outrageous things is just it's getting to the point of no return man i feel like this kind of stuff is damaging the widespread youtuber reputation in a way because it seems like every week a new youtube creator is getting called out for being a pedo or you know for grooming people or for being a sexual predator or, or something right it gets depressing to talk about at a certain point but this one man this one is up there it, it takes the cupcake that edp 445 was going to get in terms of how disgusting and weird this one is so this is surrounding a animation youtuber by the name of james bear okay now personally i didn't know who james bear was until this situation unfolded i don't know if that makes me weird but james bear had a few hundred thousand subscribers on their channel before changing their name which we'll go over later in this video uh so this is a pretty prominent creator this is somebody who has a pretty big online following and they've done some pretty crazy shit and this isn't some of that he said she said kind of thing right where there's not enough evidence to really definitively prove it this this is like an outright confession coming forward here. We're talking about somebody who did this, did this horrible weird shit, and then admitted that they did it to people on the internet, and then now of course we're in this situation where everyone is starting to figure out about it, people are making videos, it was all over Twitter, and people are starting to finally like notice and care, right? So what if I told you that James Bear here, the, the lovable, huggable YouTube animator, sexually assaulted his nine-year-old sister at the age of 13. What if I told you that's what we're talking about today? Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, this is exactly what we're talking about today. It all began in February 2013 when I began to get a little friend called depression. I didn't know at the time and I did something terrible. I had sex with my sister, which at the time I was 13 and she was nine. Fuck. If it makes you feel better, I'm suffering emotionally and I did it because of depression. Someone told me that depression can't make you do things and we've been doing till, I'm gonna say, till between 2015 and 2016. And I know it's still affecting me. In 2014, I got beat up outside in the cold winter night, and I got sick. And that sickness could have killed me. And 2015, I gotten sick again. But while I was sick, I cried myself to sleep, and I began to lose friends. My depression kept getting to me. My dad emotionally abused me too. And so, January 23rd, 2016, I began to felt like shit. And I nearly took my own life, but I didn't and went to sleep. My friend Alex, I told him on that day that I should and I forgot to tell him that I'm gonna sleep, got worried and phoned the RCMP and they took me to the hospital and they were checking on me to see if I'm okay. But I was, so yeah, I gotten sick again, but I'm okay. So yeah, that's what happened. But don't tell anyone, by the way, sad face, worried face. OMG face. All right, so there's just so much to cover in this paragraph, right? It, it, it's one of the most criminally insane paragraphs I've ever read in my life. So this is purported to be of uh, James Bear here actually confessing to everything. And there's just so much to talk about. Like, it's just such a weird paragraph from every end, like every angle, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say, man. Like, I'm shocked. First off, obviously, right? Nine-year-old sister, 13-year-old. That... It's disgusting. First and foremost, a nine-year-old can't consent to anything, right? I don't think this should be even something I have to explain, but a nine-year-old can't consent with anyone, right? You're just not at that age of consent. We as a society have deemed it that you have to be at a certain level of like mental and emotional maturity before you can consent to these kinds of things. In a lot of places, it's anywhere from like 16 to 18. So we're talking about like double that life, right? Like you're not getting away with this one, bro. You're not just gonna walk away and act like this was something oh you know she was nine and i was 13 but i was depressed like no come on now it doesn't matter like at this point bro it's still just criminal as hell and then on top of that this is your sister of all people bro like you should not feel any level of attraction in that way to your sister you know it, it doesn't even matter man there's just she could be a 10 out of 10 baddest girl on earth right like that's your sister bro that you came from the same parents probably you know you cannot make any excuse for why that's okay you, you just straight up sweet home alabama it in the motherfucking uh in, what is this i don't even know what message 
messaging service this is. Is this like old Twitter or something? I don't know. Also, notice how everything gets blamed on depression here. Just like a, yeah, you know, I basically assaulted my uh, nine-year-old sister for what appears to be just because I was depressed, you know, like, uh, I just was so sad, man. I was so down. I just wanted to kill myself so bad that I slept with my nine-year-old sister. You know, it, make that make sense, man. Please explain to me on what fucking planet uh, in what universe, in what galaxy, around what star, this would be okay. Doesn't matter how fucking depressed you've been, bro. I don't know if y'all have ever suffered through depression. I've been depressed plenty of times, man. I've never been like, hmm, sis is looking pretty good right now, right? Like, that just doesn't make any fucking sense, my man. So what this is, is it's a cop-out, right, of trying to get away from what happened. Basically, admitting that you did something so, de like, deprived of any sort of humanity, something so fucking disgusting, and then you get to cover it up by saying, oh, well, I was in a dark place, man. I, I was just depressed. Like, no, you don't get away with that. And another thing I want to bring up about this is notice how James Bear fucking texts. Like, am I the only one who thinks this is weird? Like the long pauses and all the dots and the wording and phrases that are used here. Like, for instance, someone told me depression can't make you do things. Dot, 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 dot. And we've been doing till dot, 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 dot. I'm gonna say till between 2015 and 2016. So yeah, dot, 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 dot. I gotten sick again. Again, dot 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 but I'm okay, dot, 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 dot. Like, uh, people don't text like this, you know? I, I, at least in my personal experience, I've never really texted somebody who's behaved this way while texting. This just seems so odd to me. It seems fake or like robotic in a way. It just seems so deprived of any personality or really anything that would make you human. Like, it feels like I'm talking to like an Elon bot right now, bro. One of those Neuralink brain chipped motherfuckers. Like, it just doesn't come off right, bro. This whole message is just so cursed and weird. Weird, right? So obviously there's been a pretty big public backlash to this whole situation because when something like this leaks of you admitting some crazy shit like this, people are not just going to take your side, right? Like there's a whole lot of explaining you got to do. And if the best explaining you can do for why this happened, uh, if it was real or whatever is, oh, I was depressed. You're just going to have to hold that L because people are not going to feel sorry for you, right? So there's been a pretty big public backlash. You know, YouTube videos have been getting uploaded talking about it. I saw like eight people post about it on Twitter, you know, it was just going crazy, right? Like once this came out and it started gaining some traction, that's when shit really hit the fan for James Bear. And James did something that I can only describe as very weird and like evasive of what happened. So James Bear apparently changed their channel name to just James, as you can see by this screenshot. Now, there's honestly a lot of reasons why something like this could happen. For instance, you know, you, you don't think your brand has the potential to grow under a name like James Bear, or maybe there's like six other James Bears out there that have more subs and like your name doesn't pop up when people search your name, right? For instance, having the name Optimus back in the day was kind of a struggle because there was like three other creators, uh, one of them being, I think, like a Vietnamese League of Legends player who had like like 400k subs. So until I became the most popular Optimus YouTube channel, it sucked, right? But the reason I think this honestly happened was so that they can try to avoid some of this criticism slash, I guess, controversy surrounding all this. It just seems really coincidental to just suddenly change your name to just James right when all of this comes out and this admission from you about sexually assaulting your nine-year-old sister comes to the forefront and everyone starts talking about it, right? Like the timing was just too convenient for it to seem like anything but like a, a method of getting away from it. It obviously isn't going to work because number one, James is such a common name and like I can imagine that there's six million YouTube channels named that. So good luck with metadata and getting your channel discovered from now on. Uh, number two, everyone still knows James Bear is now James because people are going to be talking about that. Still have the same profile picture, same content and everything. So it's not even an effective method of trying to run away from the criticism. And on top of realistically all of that, this this controversy has gotten so big now that people are like directly going to find you simply because of what's happening here. Now, obviously, this was supposed to never be shared or anything, right? You could see at the bottom of the message where it's like, by the way, don't tell anyone, you know? So, uh, what I'm wondering is, why would you think people aren't gonna fucking talk about that? Like, it's not like you made a little oopsie-daisy fucky-wucky, right? Like, you, you did something crazy, bro. You can't just come back from that. Like, people, when they hear that, that is conversation-worthy, you know? If I was in, like, a private DM chat or something with a creator and they admitted to me, like, oh, yeah, I, I'm basically a predator. I did this crazy shit 
it back in the day. I am not keeping that a secret for you, bro. I am not going to bat for you in that kind of way. So I don't know why that was even sent to people if it was expected to be private. Like, why would you tell people that, you know? E even if these are your friends, I mean, I can't imagine even telling your best friends that this shit happened would have been a good idea, bro. Like, it just, it was so stupid from the jump. Why would you do it? And then why would you tell everybody that you did it? But apparently that was done because they felt bad for everything in the past and they were moving forward and, and becoming a better person. But the problem with that to me is this is such a massive thing, right? Like if someone says something and they get in trouble or whatever and they come out and they say, hey, I'm sorry, you know, it was an accident. I didn't consider my wordage or something. I can understand that, right? Like that person can atone for that. But it's like, bro, this is something so massive and so insane. I'm genuinely not sure that you can atone for that, right? Like I'm, I'm genuinely unsure that you can come back from doing something like this and then admitting to it, not even leaving any possibility that it could be like some sort of BS allegation made up against you. Just openly admitting it to the public, bro, is insane to me. Well, I guess it wasn't really admitting it to the public, more or less to the people in this chat or whatever, but now it's public, right? Like this is something important to people. People are going to talk about this kind of shit. So uh, I don't know if, if James is trying to run from this now, uh, because this wasn't supposed to be public and that's why the name got switched or whatever, but this isn't even the end of it. There's actually a 182 page Google document that came out a while ago, actually, that contains a bunch of crazy allegations and stories and whatnot about James Bear. This was only an excerpt of that 182 pages. Now, obviously that's like the length of a book, so I don't expect most people to read through that. If you want to, I'm pretty sure there's probably videos on YouTube of people covering the full extent of the document and whatnot. Someone out there way more patient than me. I mean, we'd be here forever, I feel like. But with all that being said, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at Subda Optimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus, well, calling out James Bear and signing out.